from death to life. Veteran climber Ger Ardamo has made six ascents of Mount Everest. But he died at home when, while changing a light bulb, he fell down the stairs and hit his head on the sink. A South Korean fisherman was preparing his catch for sale. About to disembowel him, he had already raised a knife over him. However, the fish, which turned out to be alive, suddenly waved its tail, causing the weapon to hit him in the chest. He died on the spot. A Migdalia Balter, 86 years old, was found starved to death in her home on the Greek island of Evia. And in the bank there were 350,000 pounds belonging to her and a collection of 150 gold sovereigns. Bond resident Peter Gruber died while trying to rob an art museum. Noticing the approaching guards, he panicked and tried to run, but turning sharply around the corner, he came across a meter-long sword of the statue. The exhibit was called the Weapon of Justice. These stories with a sad ending make you think that death is always near, and no one knows how and when we will meet eternity. And if a person did not have time to repent before God, just postpone salvation for later, as many people do, he will go straight to hell. Death takes its toll. It happens that people die of hunger, having great wealth. It happens that a person falls down the stairs and dies, having conquered the highest peak in the world six times before. Anything can happen. And if a person is not righteous before God, then the weapon of justice will surely overtake him, as happened with the robber in the museum. But God does not want people to die and go to hell. 2,000 years ago, Jesus came into this world to deliver us from hell. Jesus did this in order to bring us from death to life. And the Lord has given us his word, through which we find the way to salvation. John 5, 24, 25. Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly I tell you, a time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. Truly I tell you, Jesus often spoke in this way, wanting to emphasize the importance of his words. Although it is much more important that every word of God is of great importance. But the word truth was especially loved by Jesus. When the Lord was spoken this word, he wanted to draw people's special attention to his words. In other words, Jesus says, Attention, hear the truth. And even the child, when he heard these words, could understood that the Lord wanted to say something very important. And indeed, after these words, the Lord always said fundamental things, talked about what was important, he talked about what concerns life and death. He talked about what concerns salvation from hell. And how could anything be more important than that? How can anything be more important than life and death? God, through his great love, reveals to us the truth about life and calls us to accept the truth. Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. Listening to the word of God and believing in God. Listening word of God when faith. And he who fulfills the word of God has eternal life with God. This is the truth. This is the truth of God. Everyone who accepts the word of God does not come to the last judgment. Amnesty. But where can you hear the word of God? There where the word is preached. That's why Jesus created his church. God wants us to listen to the sermon in the church so that we take spiritual food. Very truly I tell you, 
A time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. What confidence and hope these words give! He who has heard and accepted the word of God with all his heart passes from death into life. Verily, verily, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life, and does not come to judgment, but has passed from death into life. The person who believes in the word of God is exempt from judgment. Jesus saves the believer from this humiliating, terrible, and shameful procedure. We can't even imagine what Jesus is freeing us from. Only when we get to heaven will we truly realize what Jesus has freed us from. He brought us from death to life. And we are alive in Jesus Christ. Therefore, we need regular spiritual food. We need to feed on the Word, for man does not live by bread alone. Jeremiah 15, 16 When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. To keep alive, you need to keep the Word of God in your heart. Psalm 119, 11 I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. The word of God quickens us. The word of God sings in our hearts. Colossians 3.16 Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. May the word of the Lord dwell in us abundantly, live in us. The living word that lives in us nourishes and animates us. A living person sings, praises, and worship God. A living person enjoys life. He has passed from death to life. Charles Spurgeon said these words, Rise up, people of God, and triumph over victory. Your sins are great, but they are forgiven. Your iniquities are innumerable, but they are forgotten. Rise up and lead the prisoners who used to hold you captive themselves. Blasphemy, inattention to God, drunkenness, passion. The whole horde of sins that used to oppress you has been completely destroyed. Stand up, look at them, sing a song for their burial and remember the songs of joy, because you live. And in conclusion, the most important thing. The most important question in every person's life is, are your sins forgiven? God wants to forgive you. Jesus Christ died on the cross to take all your guilt, took the punishment for your sins so that you could be forgiven. Jesus rose again on the third day. He conquered death. And today he offers you life. To do this, you just need to admit you are a sinner and ask God to forgive you for all your sins. If you want to repent but do not know how to do it, just say these words. Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinful person and ask your forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that you died in my place on the cross and rose again on the third day. May your holy blood shed for my sins cleanse me from all curses and sanctify me. I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, your sins are forgiven. You have become a saved person, born of God. Keep your salvation. Find a Christian church near where you live and become part of that church. Read the Bible because it is God's word to us. Speak in prayer to your Heavenly Father. And don't forget this channel. Listen and take the word of God for you. Amen.